So it is Tuesday and we are on what day seven of our April activities, our challenges. A challenge a day. I'm Pat Sloan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my neighborhood. So if you haven't downloaded the April calendar, there's a link below so you could just go pick that up and get get your calendar and join in if you haven't joined in already. So first, there's two things I'm going to show you and tell you today. First, let me do the challenge. So on the calendar today, the seventh is tidy up. So this is kind of a, I'm going to give you sort of a free for all tidy up today. Not any particular thing, but there's probably some place within your environment that needs to be tidied up, you know, and heck, it doesn't even have to be your sewing area. If you decided like you've been sewing like crazy and you've neglected that pile of stuff that's sitting in the corner of the dining room, maybe today you go ahead and put that stuff away. Or it could be something that's piled up in the kitchen, like you've got stuff on the counter and it doesn't ever, it hasn't gone to where it needs to be. Might even do your junk drawer. <laughs> hey, why not? But if it's in your sewing space like mine, uh, right now I'm on like the tail end, the tail end of a few things. And so it is uh, pretty, pretty messy for me. I don't have work services. I've got stuff staged out in the dining room on the dining room table. And so I hope in a few days that I'll have, you know, well, let's be realistic. It'll probably take two weeks. You know, I keep saying a few days, but it's probably going <laughs> to, it's probably going to be two full weeks before my big tidy up can happen, but it will. So, but I also have a second thing that I want you to do today. Okay. If you have not changed your rotary blade lately, do that today. So a tidy up and a change your blade and heck, go ahead and change a needle on your machine. You've probably been, you know, sewing a lot of hours on that baby and it probably needs a new needle. So there is your, uh, your assignment, your challenge for today. Now, this is Tuesday, but I'm going to have a little switch up on the Childhood Games uh, release date because the Baby Charming blocks are going to come out on Wednesdays for, what is it, five or six weeks, whatever it is. And so it is too much to do both that and the Childhood Games. So I'm going to move Childhood Games to Tuesday. I have control of that one. <laughs> so. That is what I'm going to do. And today being Tuesday, I have the new block. So here it is. And I'm going to tell you a few, going to give you a few tips on this one. So here's the block and the theme is paper dolls. Yay. I just love paper dolls. I actually, there was some paper doll fabric years ago and I, I'm sure that I had a piece of it for a while. I don't have it right now, but I thought today would be good for the bunnies. It'd be like, you know, it's Easter month and Easter is not going to be this, the, um, you're not going to have, be able to have the celebrations you normally do uh, this year. So I'm going to celebrate with bunnies on my paper doll <laughs> block. And you know, I wrote a bit about the paper dolls uh, I have this plus some photo step outs over at my website. So link down here uh, over to I Love to Make Quilts, which is my uh, place for the, the weekly sew along and also uh, where I show you all the sew alongs. So you can go get the past ones. It's sort of my big project website. So this one, I chose to use the bunnies, which are directional. When I say directional, that means, you know, they, they go a certain way. Like if I turn the block this way, the bunnies are sideways, right? I don't want sideways bunnies. I want straight up and down bunnies, but I'm making half square triangles. And I want to show you how you figure that out. I also have photos of this particular block on the website. So let's look at this because it is not hard. You just, once you know this, you will be able to do directional fabric all the time. It's a very visual way of telling. So let's go down here. So I've got the block and let's see, I'm just going to turn the machine off because it's creating, there we go. It's fooling the camera with its light. So here's the block and I have a different directional fabric. I went ahead and brought over and let me put the bunnies. Okay. So you see the bunnies, right? So I'm looking at this upside down. 
but I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional today. <laughs> Maybe not every day, but today. So you can see the dark is the bunnies, okay? So there is the half square triangle. Here's the square. Here's the dark triangle. Here's the light triangle. So if I have, now I'm going to move the bunnies because I'm going to do this. I only have so much fabric for the sew along, so I don't want to, didn't, I didn't want to mess up and use it. So I have got a, a coffee print. So here you can see it's, it's directionally the same way the bunny is, right? So the, this is the top, this is the top. So if I were to turn this, your words are sideways. And what I want is I want all these words going just like the bunnies are. All the bunnies are straight with the tops, 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 tops. They're all facing the same direction. Okay, this is so easy, so easy. To, what I do is I take the background. So in this case, this will be the background. And if I wanna make this square here, I want the dark words on the bottom. So that means I fold this. So I'm mocking up, I mock up exactly what it'll look like. And the other half of this block is down here. It's the same direction. The angle is, from, is going this way versus this way. Do you see how they're different? This, so when I make this block, one triangle when I'm done will be here and one will be here. So you can flip this. When I flip it over this away, now I have this block. Here's the dark and here's the light. Now to get the other direction, this guy, so when I'm sewing this one, let me show you, let me just pull it over, okay, right? We have this guy here. So when I'm sewing this one, I will be sewing two at a time. So this is the line that I'm working with and I'll sew on either side of it and then cut and then flip them open to the half square triangles. And I have pictures on my website, so you'll go see it with the bunny fabric. Now the other way is the opposite direction. So you have to do one set one direction, one set the other direction. So if I pull this over here, then that means I have this block. Here's the dark, here's the dark, and here's the background, here's the background. And when I flip it the other way, da da da, right? It's on the other side dark and light. So you're doing two sets of half square triangles. One set you're stitching this side, the other stitch side you're stitching the other way. So you want to be really aware of what you're doing when you're making these because it is so easy to get sort of upside down and backwards. Like this is the mock-up of here again. You know, it's super easy to all of a sudden uh, turn them around. And then even when I lay this out, I get uh, one of the design boards and I lay each triangle out first because I'm using directional. If you're not using directional fabric, then you just make them like usual and it can go, you know, the fabrics can go any which way. There's no, no image on it that you're trying to do, you know, heads up. Uh, but if you are, then you want to place everything very specifically. And as you sew the units, sew one part, put it back down, lay it back down because that way you don't accidentally turn them. They're very, very easy to turn. And then you get to date Jack the Ripper. Uh, to undo a seam. Because <laughs> who wants one bunny this way and all the rest up this way? So that is what you can do for any time that you are doing half square triangles and you want to mock up and see where things are happening. You know, how how is that going to be turned? Uh, it's a really neat trick and it's very visual. So you can actually take this and do like a fold line and then there it is, you know, it's all done you know exactly where you're gonna be sewing on either side of that crease that you made. So it's a really fun way. Tell me if you've ever done that. I'd love to know if you're already using this trick. So we also have our stay at home block for today. And I found some of my telephone fabric. I'm noticing a lot of these fabrics were the old uh, Cotton and Steel and the new Ruby Society because I really like the novelty prints that those ladies design. Um, so this is a Melody Miller, uh, but I, I think this is one of the older ones, the uh, Cotton and Steel. So telephones, telephones, telephones. My, my Nana, which is my mom, was my mom's mom. She worked for Bell Telephone. And so I always had, you know, great, I always have a great memories for the old phones. Um, when we were growing up, you know, and, and also the other thing too is my, my granny, which was my dad's mom, uh, she loved modern things. She liked to have any new gadget, new technology. 
and my dad's pretty much the same way you know just love love she always like she had a phone sooner than anybody else she had like a dishwasher before anybody else but my nana actually worked for the phone company and greg's mom my mother-in-law madge uh she also worked at the phone company for a short period when she was a really young woman she actually worked with my grandmother uh, so I love the phone images, and someday I want one of those old black phones with the rotary dial. Yeah, <laughs> who has one of those? <laughs> oh, so that's my block for today. And I will so be sewing it up, take the borders on it so that I can keep ahead and just kind of assemble those as we're going along, like I showed you yesterday. I showed you yesterday the whole strip. So that is it for today, our challenge. You're gonna tidy up, you're gonna change your rotary cutter blade and you're going to change your needle if you haven't done that. <laughs> so it's good stuff. And you're gonna go download the Childhood Games, a paper doll block. So I will see you online, friend. It's gonna be a really great day. I love you. Thanks for being here. Mwah. <laughs>